Ooh. 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 I love it. Hey, what's up, Sailor Guardians? My name is Sailor Snubs. Welcome to my Sailor Moon YouTube channel. Today's video is going to be a very quick one. I just have one simple unboxing for you, but this is a special one. It's a brand new Figu Arts Zero Chouette. I think that's how you say it. So this one came out last year and I had to have it. Once I finally got it in the mail, it was so hard to just stare at this box and not open her because she's supposed to be really, really beautiful. So this is the brand new Super Sailor Moon, Bright Moon and Legendary Silver Crystal figure. She is still available and you can still find her in a variety of places. In fact, I recently went to GameStop and they were going to be putting her on pre-order. So I'm pretty excited to see that she is so accessible for a collector, especially since the figure art zero showette lines are kind of hard to find after pre-orders close. Definitely get your hands on one of these if you have the opportunity. So I'm going to go ahead and open this cardboard box, which is the same box that all of the figure arts lines are going to come in. Anytime you order one of these items and just get it like shipped from Japan, it'll come in one of these nice cardboard boxes, which is great because that will also keep the display box really nice and safe. So I'm gonna go ahead and take her out by just twisting this upside down and letting her fall out. <laughs> Come on out, Sailor Moon. Come on, girlfriend. Any day now. There we go. Okay, she is wrapped in this tissue paper, which I'm gonna destroy. Ooh. 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 Ooh, I love it. Oh my gosh, look at her box. It's so pretty. Okay, so here's a close up of the box. We have this beautiful gold foil on the front that says Super Sailor Moon and a lovely window display of Super Sailor Moon on her crescent moon. Oh, I love it. Up here we see the Tamashi Nation's quality sticker. We also have the Toei sticker over on the other corner and we have some promo art of the figure right there on the front along with the branding. I really like this filigree detailing around the edges. It looks very pretty around the window display. And I love the colors of the box. The fact that they went with these beautiful pastel colors in kind of a gradient is just gorgeous and it definitely stands out against the bright yellow of the character. Here's the other side of the box. The top of the box has the Ginzui Show outlined the legendary silver crystal. And even the bottom of the box is beautiful. Look at that gorgeous, gorgeous display. Oh my gosh, this is a beautiful piece. Wow. I'm already impressed and I haven't even taken her out yet. Now I did order this straight from Japan. So on the back, there is some Japanese print. And then we also have a bunch of promo art of the figure. This figure looks so pretty and hopefully she's flawless. She better be. I'm really excited to get her open. Let's go ahead and open her up. I'm gonna open her from the bottom. Now, one thing that I noticed on this one, just looking at the interior of the box, it doesn't look like there's any kind of like super beautiful background behind her. It looks like it's just silver. So if you're thinking of displaying her, you may want to take her out of the box and actually display her that way. Whoever messed up this tape, I don't like you. <laughs> Why did you messed it up? I don't like that it's messed up and I don't want to tear it off. That's annoying. Whoever put her in the box and put the tape on, you messed it up, man. Let's go ahead and slide her out. Yeah, check out the um, interior of the box. It's just shiny silver, so nothing really special there. Some of the other ones, some of the other Figu Arts Zero Choets have come with really beautiful backgrounds. So if you want to leave them in the box and display them that way, uh, you totally could. And they look absolutely gorgeous against the beautiful background art. But this one didn't come with that, which is kind of disappointing. I wish they would have given her some pretty background art, but unfortunately that was not the case. All right, there's tape on the side, so let's get that off. I'm being like super delicate with her because I don't want to mess her up, don't want to scuff anything. She is out of the box. We can talk about her now. So here is the Bright Moon and Legendary Silver Crystal Super Sailor Moon figure from Bandai and Tamashi Nations. How pretty is she? Oh, she's so pretty, so cute. Oh my goodness, she's so pretty. Oh, oh, that's good. So I thought this was bent, but you can actually kind of swing it around. It's it's on like a little ball joint. So whew, 
Okay, good. I thought like it was bent. Oh man, I would have been so disappointed trying to fix it and then like breaking it, but it's fine. I just put it back in a place where it belongs. Let's take a nice close look at Super Sailor Moon. So this is obviously the newer version of Super Sailor Moon. So she has a different facial structure. Her eyes are a little bit different. So this is very much in tune with what you would see from like Sailor Moon Eternal, the movies that released last year. I am digging the shading happening on her skirt. That's really, really beautiful. I'm very much loving how they did the gradient from yellow to green to blue on her skirt. I appreciate that there is some detail in her Crisis Moon Compact right in the center, as well as the compact on her belt. Her face looks great. I don't see any flaws in her face. And I also really appreciate that they used a couple of different colors for the blue in her eyes. The shading in her hair is really pretty. The paint job could have been a little bit better. I do see a lot of little scuffs here and there. Like there's one in her hair right here. There's a little scuff right here in her hair feathers. There's a little black mark on the moon down here. So definitely a lot of small, like minor detail flaws. You would really have to look at close in order to see them, but I'm picky, so I'm gonna notice those. I think it would have been really cool if they gave her shoes some shininess to them. They're kind of a matte color, a matte pink. Her hair does have some transparency to it. You can definitely notice that down at the very ends of her two pigtails. And if I turn her around, you can also see the same thing with her back bow. This also has some transparency to it. So a nice little detail there. I do love how this has some motion. It looks like it's flowing in the wind and it does match with what her hair is doing. It kind of looks like there's like air shooting up from maybe behind her or below her, like she's floating up in the air. So her hair is kind of floating higher, like it's being lifted off of the ground and so is her bow. That's very, very pretty. Now, as far as the stand goes, really cool how they did the texture in the stand. They definitely made it look like it was made out of marble or concrete. Really cool texturing there. There's some specks of darker gray in there. It looks very nice and I love that this is a very pretty shiny gold around the border. And all of the little stars are so pretty and they have a little bit of an opalescent sheen to them. The legendary silver crystal in her hands, the Games We Show, that also has some pretty opalescence to it. So there's a few different colors in there. You can kind of see a bit of a rainbow happening within the crystal. That's a very nice detail too. I like that. She's a pretty large figure. I like how big this figure is. It's not super bulky or anything, but if I compare this to some of my other figure art showette characters, I'll show you what they look like side by side. I feel like this is the perfect one to show in comparison to the new one. She's definitely bigger than the older figure arts zero that I have here for Princess Serenity. Also sitting on her moon, but even the moon is smaller with the older one. She's definitely a lot bigger with the newer one. There's a huge difference when it comes to the size, but I also feel like the older one has a lot of really beautiful detailing that we kind of missed in the newer one. Like her hair on the older figure has a lot more transparency to it compared to this one. She also has a lot of shininess to her dress, uh, which we don't get in the uniform for the newer Super Sailor Moon figure. Now here is the figure out of the box. Would you display her inside her box in the window or would you prefer to take her out and remove her from the box? I feel like the box is absolutely gorgeous and I would love to display her in front of it, but it does take up a lot of room. So I'll probably have to put this in storage and just display her out of the box like so. So what do you think? I think she's beautiful, well worth the money. Uh, definitely a few things that I think they could have done better, but overall, I think she's a beautiful figure. Definitely one you should add to your collection if you are interested in collecting figures like this one. We don't get a lot of really nice high-end figures for Sailor Moon that are licensed, so I do like to get my hands on them whenever I can. Feel free to leave your comments down below and let me know what you think. And until next time, I'm Sailor Snubs. Jane.
we have this beautiful gold 